course you are back for another Star Trek the official Starship Collections review. This time we've got the Delta Flyer. One I've been waiting for actually. I quite like the Delta Flyer. Um yeah, but a little bit of um a little bit of housekeeping. Um I've got mine late. I only got them when did I get these? Be Saturday, I think it was. Um so I've only had them a few days. Uh, everybody else has had them at least a week before I got mine. I'm always seem to be I've always seem to be a week behind everybody else. Um, also, I still haven't received my um, USS Vengeance yet. Um, it is the 8th of February 2015, and I still haven't received it yet, even though I've paid for it. When did it come out? It'd be November, I think it was, wasn't it? So I still haven't received it yet, so I'm a little bit annoyed, a little bit annoyed. Um, but I've contacted the customer service, and they, they've assured me that as soon as they've get, they get them in, they will send one out to me, so... Anywho, on to the review. Della Flyer. So, um, specification. Uh, operated by Starfleet. Launched 2375, sorry. Crew, tw uh, length 21 metres. Crew, 4 standard, but it can be operated by 1. Um, weaponry, 4 and a half phaser strips. Photonic missiles, defences, unimatrix shielding, and parametallic hull plating. You know, because, as you do. Then we get a beautiful CG render of the aft section there. Really cool. Let's try and get, try and stop the glare. It's really cool. Um, the Delta Fly was built by the senior staff of the USS Voyager NCC 74656 during their time in the Delta Quadrant. Hence its name. It was better, it was faster, better armed, and much more rugged than a standard Starfleet shuttle. Uh, the initial idea for the Delta Fly came from Seven of Nine during a mission to survey a proto nebula. Oh, excuse me. Aboard, aboard a Class Two shuttle, after hearing Balana, Torres, and Tom Paris complaining of having Class Two claustro claustrophobia, the term used by Starfleet cadets when they were picked, packed into shuttles for weeks at a time as part of a the, as part of their training, Seven suggested that they design a, a larger, more efficient shuttle. Uh, and then we've got various uh, instances of it turning up there. We've got the uh, the racing drive. We've got the approach to Unimetric Zero. Uh, Unimetric Zero One, sorry. Um, then we've got the um, graviton, got graviton ellipse. And then you've got, uh, which one's that one? Um, oh, that's uh, Deep Down, which is quite cool. Or 30 Days, whichever one they're calling it this week. Then we've got the specifications of the Delta Flyer, which is always cool. And we've got all the different um, views of the ship and showing you all the various things, like uh, impulse engines, warp cores and things of that ilk. Uh, the first version of the Delta Flyer featured two torpedo launchers on either side of the vessel facing forward, while the Delta Flyer 2 was equipped with a single launcher in the ventral surface. I think this is the Delta Flyer 2 we've actually got. I could be wrong about that. Yeah. Shuttlecraft lost. It was not surprising that the crew of USS Voyager felt they needed to create the Delta Flyer by the end of 2375. They had crashed, destroyed, or otherwise lost a total of 18 shuttlecraft on a ship that should have three. And there we go. And designed the Delta Flyer. Again, I love this section. Um... You can see um, the various little doodles of uh, the Delta Flyer there, of it coming to shape, um, which is pretty cool. I do like it. Um, designed by Rick Sternbach. Um, yeah, and, and then again, you've got on this section here. I, I, like I say, I love this section because you've never, never seen this stuff. It's brilliant. Um, you can see this section here, all various sort of staff fleet sorts standard sort of shuttle designs and then you know you've got a more what would become the delta flyer but with just you know a few added extra bits and then and of course this is what it would eventually become um well again minus a few more bog enhancements um yeah and then you got um the aft section with the door which you never saw i don't think they ever built um a full-size mock-up of the delta flyer i don't think um, 
I don't think they did. I'm just trying to think. No, because you never saw them getting in and out of the ship. Unless they beamed in and out. Um, and then you've got the fore and after. Then you've got the sort of final design of it there. Um, sort of the relative scale. Which, depending on which episode, changed a bit. Um, and then, of course, they never built an actual model of the Delta Flyer. It was all CG, so and there's a beautiful CG render of it there, flying at warp speed. And you'll notice that the nacelles um, pull out, very much like Voyager, you know, moving up and down, to give it a bit more, you know, uh, a, a streamlined profile at impulse, so it could be, so it could take a lot of damage, and give a lot of damage. Um, retractable nacelles, that's the way. So we've got the on-screen section at the back. Uh, first appearance was um, Extreme Risk. And of course it was designed by Rick Sternbach and it was only ever seen in Voyager. Uh, the key appearances, Good Shepherd and Drive. Uh, trip, we've got some trivia. One of the ships taking part in the uh, Antarian Transstellar Relay, seen at the top right of the picture below, uh, in Star Trek Voyager episode Drive, was a reuse of the coaxial drive vessel Seen in the fourth season episode, Vis a Vis. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the same ship also had a brief appearance in the episode Voyager Conspiracy and Workforce. Uh, Saya Bratton, I think I'm saying that, saying that right, who played Iriana in Star Trek Voyager episode Drive, previously played previously played in Star Trek Deep Space Nine as Golda Cat's daughter, Tori Zial. As well as uh, one of the um, Orion slave girls in the Enterprise episode Bound, um, she was also original one of the original members of the Puss Pussycat Dolls, which is uh, pretty cool. Tom Morana, the lead guitarist from rock group rock band Rage Against the Machine, an audio slave, made a cameo appearance in Star Trek Voyager episode Good Shepherd. He played a crewman Mitchell who was stationed on Deck 15 and directed Captain Janeway to Junction Room 16. Moreno is a huge fan of Star Trek and made a brief appearance as a sonar officer in Star Trek Insurrection. Mm, there you go. Also, um, King of Jordan made an, episode, made an appearance in uh, Voyager as well, in the episode Deadlock. Uh, right at the beginning of the episode, you see Harry Kim talking to a guy in a uh, blue uniform. That's the King of, jo of Jordan, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, so that's the magazine. Don't let me get a top-down view of it on the back there. Onto the ship itself. Now, here she is. Look, how cool is the Delta Flyer? It's very, very, very fucking cool. One thing I don't like about the Delta Flyer, and it's just a nitpick that I've got, is the cockpit. I don't like this, like, sort of spider, shattered web thing going on on the, on the, on the, on the, on the window there. It'd be nice if it was just a plain black thing. That's not the model, that's the actual design of the shuttle. It's just... That's the only bit I don't like. But other than that, it, it, it's fantastic. Um, arguably not a Federation starship. Because, it, you know, the Voyager crew built it, so not the Federation. However, in Star Trek Online, you can you can fly one of these as a shuttlecraft, or you can um, have fighters, these as fighters, if you've got a hangar-class ship. So... Uh, but yeah, it's I love the name there. Cause yeah, I don't think the camera's gonna pick it out so well. Um, it doesn't say Voyager anywhere apart from in the uh, Starfleet insignia, which you probably can't see. No, it says just any time it says it, it says uses Voyager NCC seven four six five six. Then the number there, number on the sides there. Love the Borg technology they've got in there. Uh, the phaser banks everywhere. Lovely light piping, as you can see. I don't know if you can see. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Look at the light piping right through there. That's cool. I like it. And through the bottom as well. I really do like this ship a lot. I think it's really, really, really cool. Um, yeah, and you've got the um, torpedo launcher there, which is not painted, unfortunately. Um, but other than that, fantastic. Fan fucking tastic. I mean, you've got the landing pads at the bottom, you've got the transporter emitters, you've got the walk car um, ejector port, um, you've got the these. Apparently, where the um, where the escape pods lie, because you see one in in uh, Good Shepherd, and they're like coffins essentially. Um, 
but yeah, it, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, all the Borg technology they've got going on up, up, up in there, and the impulse engines, which are these. Um, and you've got the, the, the um, deflector array at the front, and you've got um, and your buzzard collectors, and it's bristling with phaser banks. It's got eight phaser banks for a shuttle, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, and it comes with the standard plastic connector, and then the bottom, of course, you get. Oh, shit, nearly dropped it. And then you get Delta Flyer. And it sits on the stand, thusly. Looking fucking badass. I'm going to put this next to my runabout. Um, I like it a lot. I think it's great. I think it's a fantastic looking show. Well done, Eagle Moth. Well done. I mean, there are a few missing paint apps here and there. And I have noticed a couple of scratches on the window, but uh, nothing that Sharpie won't fix. Um... But other than that, well done, Eagle Moss. Well done. Again, I wish you could have made it so that you could pull the nacelles out a little bit. But, no, nah, but still, hats off. Um, well done. Well done. Every time I get a new ship, it's justifying my uh, subscription to it. It really is. So, oh, nearly dropped it. Uh, but, yeah, that's it, really. Um So, if you like my videos, please subscribe. If you don't, tell me why. Um, leave all the messages in the bottom, um, on the side, or wherever they decide to do it these days. So, yeah, that's me. That's the Della Flyer. And I will catch you all later. Bye for now.